All right, so welcome back, guys, or welcome to your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys in our video. Today, I'm going to be doing my Image Comics September 2019 solicitations. So, if Image Comics is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That would miss some more comic news from me moving forward. Now, let's begin. As always, we got my honorable mentions for the month. Now, my honorable mentions for the month of September are. Battle Pug, Coffin Bound, Crowded, Golgar, Ice Cream Man, Rumble, Sea of Stars, Section Zero, Space Bandits, Thumbs, Leverman, and I think it's Trees. Now, these are books like they're just mini series like Thumbs or like they just are just independent stories each time, like Ice Cream Man, or they're just books I haven't read yet, like Battle Pug or Coffin Bound. They're good, but they're just haven't got as good as some of these other books on this list so i put them here if you're new just because i like them or i'm interested in them and i want to just give you guys an interest an idea of what i'm interested in but let's get into the big books i'm excited about for the month of september first up we got analog issue number eight and the synopsis for this issue reads jack cuts a bloody path as he tries to escape texas with the japanese ai and back in New York, the women have had enough. Oma and Aunt Sam make a fearful decision to delete a corrupted human, plus introducing a Ledger woman duo that's sure to turn some heads. Now, I really love this book. I haven't gotten into the second arc yet, but I really like this book. I love the cover with Jack, with how he's holding the gun. Really cool cover. Next, we got Criminal Issue Number 8, and a synopsis for this issue reads, Tag Wallace is on his way to living with, to living the high life, planning the, be, the kind of score you can retire on, but only if nothing goes wrong. Now, I've really liked this book. I haven't started the second arc again, like with the previous book, but I did enjoy the first arc. It's fun. Different take on some things. If you liked Killer Be Killed, definitely check it out if you haven't. The cover, eh, not really my thing. It's okay, but, you know, it's just not really my cup of tea. But I do like the story and the, and what it sounds like we're getting into definitely sounds interesting. Next, we got Die, issue number 7. And a synopsis for this issue reads, Split the Party, part 2. The rest of our heroes have have to march the survivors of Glass Town across, across the fearless expanse, led by Conti Isabel and never Conti in his li whole life, Chuck. But is there more... Then meets the eye here like a secret door or a soul. Now, the first issue intrigued me enough to keep going the book. I might have to go back and read it again before I start the second arc. It was kind of confusing at times. But definitely I'm interested to see what they do with this book. I like the covers. They're cool. Next, we got Hit Girl issue number 8. And the synopsis for this issue reads, Our pint-sized adolescent assassin sets to... Face off with the notorious boss, Ryu. Can Hit Girl take down Hong Kong's biggest villain and crush the Ryu triad once and for all? Now, I really have enjoyed this book. It's been a fun ride going through. And it's been on my kind of like on our mentions list for the, since pretty much the beginning. But I've actually kind of enjoyed it recently and added it here. I actually really have enjoyed it. And definitely, if you're kind of into this kind of stuff, definitely check it out. It is, it is cheesy and goofy at times, but it is kind of fun read. So I definitely recommend it if you're into that kind of stuff. It's not for everybody, but you know what? I just kind of like it and have fun with it. So if you're interested in that stuff, de definitely I recommend it. Next, we got Kick-Ass issue number 18. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Kick-Ass faces Rosa, the assassin, in this violent story arc climax but is patience too deep inside the criminal underworld to escape now i actually really enjoyed this book too i don't like cake girl this one's a little bit more serious and does have a little bit more tone that i actually enjoy like where it's serious it's been a fun ride i hope this doesn't mean it's ending since it's the end of the third arc i'm just hoping it just means it's the end right now i'm i really enjoyed the book and i can't wait to see if they do more of what they do with it because it's just been fun more serious 
and just a fun story. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, where like this person becomes like intertwined with the mob and stuff, that's definitely something you should check out because it's just been a fun ride and how they keep their personal life a secret from that stuff. It's just been fun, so definitely check it out if you're interested in that stuff. Next, we got Man Eaters issue number twelve. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads. Our 12th issue run of Man Eaters cultivates with this comic, sacred, satirical, manifesto, cat care informational booklet, step by step instruction manual of dismantling the patriarchy. Each copy comes with a little bit of hope at no additional cost. Amount of hope may vary, hope is limited. Some some readers may receive furry instead. Now, other than that, that just kind of means we're just going to get kind of ads in this book, I guess. I really hope this doesn't mean this is the final issue of this story because I have enjoyed it even though I have got behind on it. Next, we got Middle West issue number 11. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, A despondent Abel carrying the weight of what he's learned in the winter woods angrily parts ways with his companion fearing for the boys' safety in the run-down Rust Belt City they they wandered into. Fox returns just in time to find Abel snatched and in a heap of trouble. Now, I have enjoyed this book. I recently got caught up with it and really have enjoyed this book. It's definitely an interesting story, especially with what, what just happened where I left off. It's definitely got some interesting storylines coming up. So I, if you haven't read Scott Ayan, I highly recommend him. He's a very good writer. Very much enjoy his stuff so far. And excited to see where they take this book moving forward. Definitely a fun read. Interesting take on like abusive parents and how the son deals with that. It's definitely an interesting take. So definitely if you're interested in that kind of new take on stuff, check it out because I think you won't be disappointed. Next, we got Oblivion Song, issue number 19. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Who are the faceless men? Finally, some answers. Now, this is one thing I've had against the story so far, is we haven't gotten into the, these people. From what I've heard, we recently got into them. I'm still a little bit behind, so please, no spoilers. But, I, th this is one where I could either hurt my enjoyment of the book or help it. Because when we wait 19 issues in to get, like, the reveal of the Faceless Men, it's like, it just feels, like, dragged out. That kind of stuff annoys me when they drag out those kind of reveals. I'm not going to judge it until I read the book. But I do ha have a fear that they might overhype this kind of Faceless Man kind of thing. Because that, it just, I just hate when they do that kind of stuff. Next, we got Outer Darkness issue number 10 out of synopsis for this issue reads... The entire crew of the Sharon is infected with a plague that makes that makes them incredible incredibly violent and murderously insane, except for the kitty who is miraculously uninfected. So who's gonna save the day? Spoiler alert meow. Now I like this idea. Where it flops for me right off the bat is where it says the cat possibly will save the day. That just is like, you took a great comic and you did that with it. It just is like, what? I'm not going to judge until I read again, but that just sounds extremely stupid. Next, we got Outpost Zero, issue number 13. And a synopsis for this issue reads, As the Outpost reels from a devastating setback, Aaliyah and Sam's Unrelenting search for answers leads them to the truth they'd most hoped and feared to learn. Now, this is very interesting. I am a bit behind, so I can't get into predictions here. But very interesting to see what goes on and what they finally learn about the outpost and everything that's been going on. The cover is very cool looking. I really like what they did with the cover here. Definitely something different and cool. Really like that. Overall, very excited to see what goes on here. But again, behind, so can't make too many predictions. But... Definitely excited to see what goes on with the story moving forward. Next, we got Reaver issue number three. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Madras is going to hell and only hell's half dozen can stop it. Their suicide mission brings them up, brings them to an outpost deep within enemy territory to pull a brazen heist using... Deception, sedish, seduction, 
and murder all their most memorable skills. Now, I haven't read this book. It recently came out, but I haven't gotten to it yet. But definitely excited to see what goes on here. Very much enjoyed the, the covers. Very well very much of a cool and excited to see what they do with this book it's definitely something i think could be a big hit but it also i feel it could be a big miss but definitely excited to see what they do with this story next we got redneck issue number 24 now the synopsis for this issue reads the bowmans have survived a soleo de moreto and the come out the other side will a soleo de moreto Survived the Bowmans. I apologize. I probably just butchered that. I suck at my Spanish. S- apologies. That this is very interesting. The synopsis. I am behind on this again. Trying to get caught up still. It's just not enough hours in the, in the day. But the cover looks cool. Very much love the cover. Since I'm behind, can't make many predictions. But definitely interested to see where they take this. I love this book, but unfortunately got away from me and I can't seem somehow to get caught up but I'm hoping to get caught up hopefully by the time the next solicitations come out next we got Sonata issue number four now the synopsis for this issue reads the shadow of death the mysteries deepen as Sonata finds ro- romance with one enemy and makes friends with another the valley of the sleeping giants where other allies have turned traitor it's starting to look like no one is getting out alive. Now, I haven't read the first issue, but this book is very intriguing to me. The covers have been awesome, including this one. I love the cover, but I haven't gotten into it, so can't make predictions yet. But very much, I'm excited to get into this book. Hopefully, I can get into it by the time the next solicitations come out, but I'm not sure. Hoping to, but very much look forward to this book because it looks like something that's going to be an awesome book for Image. Next, we got Unearth issue number three. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads Venturing into the vast subterranean nightmare populated with the, with the most hideous creatures imaginable, mankind's last hope against a fiendish and seemingly intelligent disease is shattered, beset by the, no, the, by the murderous insanity in, inducing beasts. From all sides, the American Scientific and Military Task Force has become separated in a twisted underground realm as their bodies begin to change in demonic fashion. They must fight to keep their sanity and avoid turning against one another. Now, this is definitely one I'm excited for. Recently came out and haven't gotten to it, but definitely want to. Looking forward to it. Can't make predictions since I didn't read it, but definitely excited. The covers have been hit or miss. This one's a kind of a hit for me. I kind of like it, but I'm definitely excited to read the book. If you- Next, we got Witchblade issue number 17. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Last Day's Conclusion, NYC's Flooded with, with Demons uh, from Hell. And Alex has to make a gut-wrenching sacrifice to close the barrier and save humanity from being overrun. Now, got behind on this again. I got caught up. but got cut back again. Just due to my shop never having this book, which is frustrating because I added it to my pull list. But that's beside the point. But very excited to see what they do with this book. Got behind again. What it sounds like this might be the final issue. I really hope not. Have enjoyed this book and don't want it to end. But it kind of sounds like it might. The cover, I really like the cover with the kind of goldish orange tint to it. Very cool looking and excited to see what they do with this book. Again, behind so can make predictions, but very interested to see where they take this book moving forward. So yeah, guys, those are my Image Comics September 2019 solicitations. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way to miss any more comic videos from me moving forward. And you can go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which I have linked in my about page on this YouTube channel. So that you can go follow me there if you want. This has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.